Hello there! Welcome to an unboxing session of the Retro Nature. Now, as today is uh, National Vintage Unboxing Day, you might want to check out my other unboxing videos that you can locate here, or maybe there, on the screen. I don't think you'll regret it. Maybe you will, but if you do, it not my problem. Okay, box number one. Look at this. A Manta Force super bag. This is an actual 1980s Manta Force bag. Simply adjust the straps to make all of these. You can make a shoulder bag, a handy grip, or a backpack. Useful for keeping your Manta Force goodies in or anything else. Maybe some alcohol or drugs if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, so, bags of character 1988. Bags of character. There we go. Next up, little package, little dinky package. Inside is the big boss man. It's the big boss man. There he is, big boss man. Whoa! From WWF fame. Oh, excuse me. I just need to put my cat out. Apologies. Um, yeah, sorry, this is the Big Boss Man, and as you can see, he's got his uh, original outfit on. I'm not sure when the Big Boss Man started WWF, I think it was late 80s, maybe early 90s. That's the period I remember him from. Okay, box number oh, on, three, package number three. It's going to be. I wonder what it's going to be. It's a pack of the fees. Wow, well, look. Old Nokia box. I wonder what's inside. There we go. Some retro bubble wrap. How lovely. Oh, and the charger. And my friends. My friends. And my non friends. Nokia 3330. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Look at that. Possibly the best phone I ever owned. This is the first model that had WAP functionality. Can you imagine using a web page on that screen? I did. It wasn't good. Even back in 2001 or 2. Whenever it was. So there we go, Nokia 3330. Okay, it even says it on the box. Nokia 3330, it's a sure thing. Sure it is. <laughs> unintended, that was. Unintended. I don't know what it was unintended for. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, next box. This is another fragile box. Probably another box which has been slung across the counties on its way here. With no regard for content, human, nor animal. Inside. Oh, this is this is an absolute um, minter. An item. I need to put fragile on the inside. Is that in case they're so rubber it that it falls out of the box? Oh, and they get, oh god, that's fragile. This this is a uh, Tommy. Ooh, grotty. A Tommy Tronics uh, tennis game. Uh, we have the little men. You can see them. Can you see that? Yeah, the little people on the LCD screen there and you move them about using these buttons. You've got one player, two player, 1980, something like that, 79 maybe. Good condition, though. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, God, sorry, camera. I need to knock you about. And uh, next, 
Another box. Another box from the unknown swathes of the Tintinet. Ooh, that, that familiar packaging of Sainsbury's bags. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at this. Space Precinct. Do you remember Space Precinct? Um, who is it by? There you go, Jerry Anderson. Jerry Anderson's Space Precinct. That famous UK, was it BBC um, series back in 94, I believe? Didn't last for long, but I enjoyed it. I mean, you can, if you watch it, you can see why it didn't last for long. But it had a niche um, audience. Uh, what, what they might describe as a fan following. That's not the right word. I can't sit here and think of the right word. You think of it, tell me. Space Precinct, give a little card. This is Officer Jack Haldane, and this is Lieutenant Patrick Brogan. Boxed. These things are cheap as chips on eBay. They're obviously not deemed collectible. Well, you look at that. This was 99p from Traco Mills back in the day. Oh no, it was reduced as well, 199. Reduced to 99p even then. Which doesn't surprise me. Moving on, moving on. This package doesn't even fit in a box. Bloody sticks out the end. What are these people like? Crazy cowboy packages. Yeehaw! You might want to make yourself a cup of tea while I'm doing this. Maybe grab yourself a biscuit or coffee. I like coffee as well. No, don't make it for me, obviously. Don't make it for yourself. You, des you deserve it. Come on. Go have a break. You can come back. You can come back. Come back to this later. It's going to take me a while. may have been sticking out the end of a box, but it was packaged pretty well nonetheless. Okay, here we go. The original, this is from Western Hospice Care, 100% of the uh, payments for this went to the charity, which I'm a big fan of. I like buying things for charity. I'll buy, I'll pay over the odds if the money goes to charity. Not a problem with that at all. Look at that, they even put polystyrene bits in the box. Now if you would noticed my video the other day, you may have, you may not have, if you did, do something with your life. Stop watching videos, especially my videos, what are you doing? This is um, the original spy ring board Whoa. from the 60s. Uh, these are the pieces. Uh, the game changed a bit from when this came out. As you can see there's no sort of microfilm or decoding bits, but the little chappies pretty similar, although they're not bodyguards in this one. You get the you get the agents and then you get like your finger man or whatever he's called who does the reconnaissance. Look at that box, look at that artwork. It's lovely isn't it? You get the artwork at the side. There were secret agent dudes. SSHI, Secret Service HQ. Get the instruction manual. This is lovely. And these boxes, I miss these boxes. Look at that, look at that. They're all boards which have been cut into quarters now, haven't they? And they fold out by into four pieces. This size box is what we want. Bring it back! Let's start a campaign. Bring back large rectangular boxes. Or we'll march on Parliament. Roar. Okay, last, but by no means least, we have another package. I think I know what's inside this one. But as it's an unboxing video, we'll double check. It wouldn't be a great video if I sat there and just said, yeah, I know what that is. It's probably not anyway. 
but you're watching it, you've got this far, so congratulations. There we go, this is a classic Waddington's game, the vampire game. Make your way to the castle, but beware the vampires bite. Big fan of this, in the day. I keep saying in the day. Late 80s. Here's the board. You have to get from here to here, avoiding this fella here with his hat. It comes off. We've got a little stamp there. See that stamp? Can we see that? Of course we can't. Of course we can't, because the camera, the camera doesn't want you to see it. It's not interested in you seeing it. There's the stamp. And you've got a little ink pot here. Stamp that on there. Stamp that on your hand. There we go. And that means you've been bitten by the vampire when you go back to the start. And I, I seem to remember being covered in these little marks at the end of the game. Because it just went on and on and on. And these onion cards protect you from the vampire. I'm surprised I remember the rules. I think you had to save these princesses who were dotted about. And had various dice. And you used a particular die for a particular section of the board. That is the vampire game. And this was unboxing video number five, I believe, on National Unboxing Day. Go and celebrate. Unbox something. Do it now. Bye.